Hey guys, it's Lori again. I am just doing my update. It's uh, about two weeks after I said I would do it, but these plants, the new ones, have been in here for about a week and they're doing really well. As you can see, I took out the big water, water sprite that was in the corner and now there's water wisteria and that is the remaining water sprite. And this, this piece here wasn't there before, so it's coming back already. And then I added those plants, this one up here and that one in the back. And then I have one lonely little one there. I'll actually uh, put the names of these plants into the description, because I am horrible with pronouncing things. And I put that one in there too. I actually have no idea what that one was. I just thought it looked cool. Should probably do some research on it. So you can also see my algae's growing back. And then I have the four leaf clover plant. Most of it died off, but it's, it has all those little little ones growing back. And then this one as well. Had a needle leaf, um, I don't remember, something needle leaf, and there were two of them back there. There's one, and then that right there in front of the angel, the platys ate it. I actually said that they never eat plants, and then they did. And then this one, of course, which I gave a, I called it an unfortunate haircut today, is chopped off a bunch of it. And that's the top of the plants. So everything that's red right there was from the tops. Is red there. And the Pleco babies, Bristlenose. Um, finally went to the 10 gallon today. There's one there and the rest of them are back in the back. I think there's only six. And then the goldfish tank, real quick. They're actually eating right now. Since they're not doing their feed me dance. They're all happily chewing. And I know people, they give me a lot of grief about this fish in the back there with no eyes. See, I sucked her eyes out with a siphon. And that was probably half a year ago. And as you can see, she's fat, happy. She finds food just fine. She coped very well with it. She was back in the main tank a week after that happened. And she is only a little bit smaller than her brother, who I cannot find right now. So she's getting along really well. Yeah, I, it's an unfortunate accident. Don't give me a lot of crap about it. Because I really don't care. But um, right now there's 18 fish in here and that's what the number is going to stay at unless it goes down because I'm not getting any more goldfish. These guys are just so much trouble. I just had had enough. My issue tends to be they develop floating problems and then they have to be euthanized because they just don't have the quality of life that they should in my floater tank is actually over here and actually this one's Stan, she was my first floater and she's doing really really well and then there's Mysterion who flips over a lot I don't know if she's going to flip over now she's also developing a weird weird tumor like thing on her gill plate and I just moved little Kyle over and she actually hasn't had any floating issues since she was moved to this tank. So I think the big tank is just not good for swim bladders and the goldfish. And I also have a real algae issue in here because I left the window open. It's right behind this tank. But that was the quick update. It's under, uh, under 10 minutes. Thank you. Good night.